kind of public broadcaster is a good thing for any country, but the way the BBC has mishandled the Jimmy Savile case is a disgrace and a huge blot on their copybook. The Director General will have to resign, that seems inevitable. I predict he'll be gone by the end of the year. This is Archie's, I've got yours now. Uh, for the BBC crisis, we shall read, nothing much will happen. Maybe the old scapegoat, personal change, revolving envelopes and golden handshakes. But the prison and enforceable protection packet, a racket masquerading as a license fee, will continue unhindered. Kevin comes in with a point that one of my contributors, David Banks, made. Can you trust the BBC, you ask? Yes, because it's the BBC reporting on itself. Would you see any other news organisation doing this? Yes, look at the way that the Times ripped uh, its own parent company, News International, aside during the News of the World scandal, uh, as much as it's handling the News of the World as anything else. But the point, uh, Kevin, is they're only doing this because ITV played out the Docker, the documentary. Had ITV never played out the documentary, this would never, don't ever kid yourself, folks. My friends, don't ever kid yourself. Now, would there be some decent folk within News Night trying to leak it? Possibly. Possibly. Or gave it ground. Or impetus. Was ITV putting that uh, that documentary out? Jonathan's in Chelsea on the radio. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a bit um, uh, annoyed at some of the uh, previous comments comparing the BBC to other media companies because the BBC is, 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 is not like another newspaper or any uh, uh, company like that in that it has facilities, property, and it had a duty of care to the various children that were involved in production on its property to protect those children. It failed to do that, and now it's covered that up. Yes. So I don't take on board at all the previous comments that um, there isn't an integrity issue for the BBC if it has some good chaps working for it. Systemically, it was culpable in serial um, crime against children, and my confidence will never be restored in the organisation as a result, ever. Jonathan Strongwise, thank you for that. Our conversation about that will continue. Also coming up after the news, take a job or lose your benefits for three years. Talking tough. We'll speak to the employment minister behind that. And, of course, take your views as well. You're listening to Breakfast with me, Nick Ferrari, here on LBC 97.3. The time is 8.30. News then. Susan Bookbinder. The BBC is facing new allegations.